young. This is Miss Shirley. Things that make our hearts happy. That's what we're going to concentrate on drawing and painting today. One of the things that makes my heart happy are sunflowers and along with lots of warm sunshine. The things that you will need are a canvas or you can use paper. You can use markers, colored pencils, or if you do have a canvas, you will need yellow, orange, red, brown, and green. All right, so let's get started. I have a lid that I am going to trace around to make a circle. So next, I want to make sure that my um, <clears throat> sunflower has a good base as well as some petals but I also want to do a design in the middle. And that's where a sketchbook comes in real handy. A sketchbook can be um, something little, something big. It doesn't even have to be plain paper. It could be out of a spiral notebook. So for my sketchbook here, I've drawn a center um, and I've got a heart in the middle. And today I'm going to draw that heart in the middle to show that some flowers are something that I love. Next, I'm going to draw the petals. And with petals, I want the petals to be a little bit big because sometimes sunflowers grow really big. So here we go with a petal and I'm just going to give it a big curved petal. And then I'm going to do another and another until my canvas is filled. I also want to go in and give it more leaves in the back or petals in the background. So it's really a full um, sunflower. So I'm going to pretend I'm drawing up here, but I'm not, just to find my place and to create another petal point like that. So now I have a very full sunflower. Next, I need a stem, and their stems are stocky, so I'm going to use two lines. And I'm going to pretend that there's a stem right down here. And so maybe you see it right about here. But I'm going to draw my stem with at least two lines. Now that I have my sunflower drawn, I'm free to paint, okay? If I only have crayons and markers, I can go ahead and color in with crayons and markers. Now I have my center. I'm going to let that dry a bit and I'm going to work on some side leaves. Now some flowers usually are yellow but they can also have some orange leaves, I mean petals. And so I think I'm going to get a bigger brush and when I mean bigger I mean just by the tip to paint my yellow since it is a bigger area. I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to switch to another color just to show you on the ends that maybe I'll go ahead and paint them in orange. 
To make orange, I just mix yellow and red. Now once the center dries, if I want to add some little brown specks because sometimes some flower seeds have some flowers have seeds. I can do that with my marker after the paint dries or I can do it with some brown paint. And to get some brown paint, I might want to take some of my green and add in a little bit of red. And that will give me a brown. So here is the final reveal. For more open studios with Miss Shirley, please check out the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy.org. Thank you.